all day and a night. Yes. Right? Yes. This film is on Netflix, Netflix right? Yeah. Is this film one of the great films coming from out of California since Boys in, since the, Hood. Boys in the Hood and Menace to Society? Is it? I'm going to have to say yes. yes. This movie I'm is have to say a classic. Yes. It's going to be a classic. It is a classic. It's it beautiful. should have been in the theater. Yeah. Now this young kid, what's his name? Um, Ashton Sanders. That's right. And Ashton, we reviewed a lot of his work. Yeah, we reviewed a lot of his work. He's you know good. what I'm saying? It's the one film that they put him in that we want to go see. We we uh, reviewed that over a year and a half ago. Yeah. I can't remember the name yeah. of the film right but now. But I do remember it saying that he was great in the film. He was good, but it was horrible. just that they put him in there as if he was the star of the film, and he wasn't. Yeah, they just right. They just used him. And between that and Yardy, we said Yardy all the way. But yeah. this right here is up with Yardy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Beautiful coming of... It's a coming of age picture, right? And relationships uh, well, between father and son. Mm -hmm. and friendships between and, mother and son. And then... And with girlfriend. And girlfriend and, and, and friendships in general. Beautiful. And betrayal. Yeah. Everything is in this picture. It is, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's about a young man who is an aspiring MC. But this is not what the story wraps around. But no. that is just a subtext yeah. to who he is to right. see what he is and it, right. it, it's a story beat that leads into another story beat that yeah. leads into later action into the film right. beautifully constructed by the writer yeah all right yeah. beautifully cut on film right yeah. but this guy is a person who is is not trying to be in the street pharmaceutical business. He's not trying, but he is in the streets, right? And he uh, has... Real quick, speaking of the writer, the writer is Joe Robert Cole. He was one of the writers for uh, Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And tell me who the director is. Um, the director is also Joe Robert Cole, so he wrote and directed. Right. So he's in the... He's in the streets, but he's not in the street pharmaceutical salesman business. No. But he's in the streets, and he has a baby on the way, yeah. right? Yeah. And he has a baby on the way, and it just so happens the secondary characters are introduced. Uh, his partner, and tell me who his partner is. Okay, so his partner is Shakira Janae Pay. Uh huh. And Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And you know him from uh, Snowfall. He's the oh, right yeah. hand man. Oh yeah, Isaiah John. That's what I, I said. Who his friend is? Oh, okay, well, Isaiah I, uh, John. John. Oh, I thought you okay. was saying he has girlfriend. A, okay, okay he his has girlfriend a, is Shakira. Okay. okay, he has a friend right. who introduces him to a uh, established rapper from right. the from a different hood. Right. That. Introduces him to the fact that he, the woman that he's having a baby oh, by. You to tell that. Well, you just have to see it. You have right? to see you it. Have to see it. But so anyway, that me, leads into other things. So but, go through the rest okay, of the Okay, yeah, let me do this because the cast is great. When I saw, honestly, like when I saw the previews, and in the previews, I saw Ashton Sanders and then one of my favorite actors. Jeffrey Wright, right? Right. Jeffrey Wright plays so, his father. Plays his father. So That's when right. you see Jeffrey Wright, just know it's gonna be a good film. Mm -hmm. Okay, but also starring, um, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Yah Yahya Abdul Mateen the second, which is also a great actor from um The Watchmen. Mm -hmm. He plays the blue. Yeah, he plays uh uh, I can't think of his name right Mr. now. I'm not a comic book dude, but this, this, the movie was The good. Blue. The Blue Man. The okay. Blue Man. Mr. <laughs> They're going to be like, what? Just the type blue in the name of the character. <laughs> okay, and also starring Christopher Mayer. We said, we mentioned Isaiah John, who's also a really good actor from Snowfall. Uh -huh. Kelly Jenrette plays the mother. She did a great job. Mm -hmm. Regina Taylor plays the grandmother. 
And again, Shakira, Janae, Payne, like all three of these ladies like killed it. The grandmother, Regina Taylor, the girlfriend, Shakira, Kelly Jenneret. I mean, it just shows the strength of, like these women were his backbone in this film. And I like how the women were represented in this film and um, the love that these women had for their family, whether mm. it was the son, the grandson, the boyfriend. I mean, the, it's just a community. Okay. Community. So a day and a night, right? His character does something, right? right. The main character does something. Right. It's an act that happens midway right. the film that happens, right. right? And and the way that they tell the story is through real time happening at real time and then flashbacks, right? right? And so real time and then flashbacks, beautifully edited, yeah. beautifully cut, beautifully written in the script. Yeah. Beautiful, right? Yeah. So they, they, they show you this, but there's an act that happens that facilitates another act happening that the main character does yeah. that you believe yeah. that this is why he does it, but there is a twist in the film. Yeah. There is a twist. Yes. There is a tremendous twist yeah. that you don't see coming you don't see it coming and your mouth will drop open. That's why I say, yeah. is this yeah. is this new era, yeah. boys in the hood, yeah. menace to society, Excellent. any of the great films of that yeah. genre that are non-sensational but are yeah. telling you the way that it happens, right. the way that it is in the hood. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like you have to see this film. It, it, it's kind of like the cross between poetic justice oh, yeah. and boys in the hood because yeah. he's not in the street. He's in the streets, but he's not in that particular street game. Right. And, 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 and his moral fiber says he's not yeah. going to do that. And you find yeah. out why he's not going to do that yeah. within the film. Yeah. Right. It has it has him as a child. Yeah. It has him as an adult, yeah. flashbacks child, yeah, adult, real time. real time. Yeah. Beautifully written. You have to see this film yeah. using the city as a living, breathing. There's a yeah. scene where he's riding a bike. Oh, that scene is beautiful. And so you yeah. have to watch this because it. for a split second. Cinematography. The cinematography, but for a split second. Second, as yeah. he's riding the bike, yeah. it makes you feel that he has he regained an opportunity that he didn't have in childhood. And you're gonna see this, and you're gonna say, beautifully written, yeah. beautifully done. Yeah. Yeah. Using the city as a living, the streets and the city as a living, breathing part character yeah. ten. The the use of flashback and real time ten, yeah. the the character arc, the story arc, because there's yeah. a story arc and a character arc, yeah. right? Individual character arc, yeah. that's a ten, yeah. right? The conclusion yeah, of the film. Yeah. Very strong. Yeah. Ten. Well written. Ten. Well written. These these are the type of films that we need to see yeah. greenlit yes. under the Chinese control of Hollywood and the soon to be yeah. Saudi yeah. Arabian yeah. control. Yeah. So that we can so that you yeah. can see who you are. Yeah. This right? was this is a great film. Really, I'm saying it's this is a beautiful film. Beautiful film. And it's about so much, you know, there's different storylines, but it's about like also community. I saw a community in the film. Yes, it is. Because in the midst of everything that's going on, there's still like a sense of community, mm -hmm. you know? And um, it's. The, 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 well the relationship between when, when the. Everyone who knows who who had have has had an opportunity to have a father right. in the household, mm -hmm. 
knows it's a father. It's hard right. when you're young. Right. And when you're older, the so this relationship between the father right. as the, when he was a young child in the yeah. flashbacks and compared him to, to when he's older yeah. is a very interesting dichotomy. Yeah. Right? So you yeah. have to watch this yeah. film. You, have to you see will it. enjoy because it. It's you know, well worth it. You know his father loves him, but like mm-hmm. you said, the dichotomy, um, just the relationship. The father was going through something when yeah. he was younger. When he was younger, yeah. Right. But he was still there, and you could still tell that he loved his son. But he comes through. Yeah, he does. He comes through yeah. when needed. So yeah. you need to watch this film. So what would you rate it? I would rate it a 10, because like I said, there's just so many like beautiful relationships. Beautiful. Between him, his dad, between him and his friend. What I like too is not only him, you see his friends when they're little also, you know, and then you see them growing to men. And um, the one friendship really, really sticks out to me. Really and you out. have to see the film, but it's a beautiful friendship. Yeah. And um, I love the relationship between him and his girlfriend, right? His son's mother. And like the different, um, because life is not perfect. Nothing not perfect. is perfect. Nothing is perfect. But just, I loved how they got over like the little hump, mm-hmm. right? Um, but um, it was it's a beautiful film. It's interesting. Like you know, and I always say this. You know, when the film is good, when it goes off, you're like, dang! I wish there was a part to like. It's just a good film. You know, it makes you want more. And then you're looking at the time. You're like, dang, it's going off already. And even though, like, I mean, it it was the film. It's not a short film, right? Mm -hmm. So the time is sufficient, right? So it's a nice long film. But it's just that it's just so well done. You just want more. You just want more. You just want more. But I would definitely give it a 10. And the music was really great. Yeah, the music selection. The music selection is nice. And after seeing the film, when I saw that the writer also was co-writer for Black Panther 2, I said, okay. It figures. It figures. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I give it a 10 also, right? Yeah. 